So let's see what's inside this motor. That's the best I could get with my rough tools. You can see here there is one, oops, that's the magnet. Yes, it attracts the screwdriver. I need something less magnetic. That's a little bit annoying here. Okay, that's one ball bearing and here you see one ball which I cut in half. That's the tube for the uh, Kirschner wires that goes along through the entire motor. Here you can see the drive gear here, still attached to the axle. Uh, this part here is the magnet, goes around like this and if you take it out it looks like that so it's a, a circle it's a, a cylinder shaped magnet that goes around the axle here and then the copper part here that's the rotor winding which is attached to the rotary axle here and this winding looks oops that was the magnet still pretty strong after all that torture so that's the uh, rotary winding the ironless rotor you can see the individual copper wires here are v-shaped and also on the outside i think you can see that yes i think so here on this side uh, is the uh, how do you call that the commutator where the brushes run over it so um, here that's the open case you can see it's pretty thick material that's one of the brushes here still working there is another one on the other side so the motor has two brushes goes to the electrical contact here and of course the same for the other side so that's the part where the magnet is mounted on this has a a threaded screw here is screwed into that cover part here or into that well it's not a cover it's part of the of the housing here is the space for the uh, ball bearing so that is screwed in like that then the oops, it would look like this with the magnet attached it gets screwed in oops still strong as i said before and then the rotor will be uh, slid in from the back like this and normally the back here is removable Either you can screw it off or it has some screws but in this case they welded it completely you can see that here it's a laser weld so it's pretty impossible to open this motor for a repair well you could remove that weld here and maybe you get inside but how do you put it together I don't know well why did it fail First of all, uh, I have to remove that magnet again, which is pretty difficult. Well, we leave it in. Uh, we have clearly rust here, and that doesn't come from the grinding process, from the cutting that was before. So we had rust between this. Uh, well, it's not the axle, it's the magnet uh, attachment and the magnet. And of course, we also have rust here outside the magnet. 
and we also find rust here inside this rotor and also on the outside so when this is rotating and there is rust somewhere it distributes that evenly everywhere and we also see sorry i'm off camera we also see here a broken wire that is most likely because the ends are pretty blank and polished so i would see this is broken because it rubbed against the magnet because there was some debris or some rust some everything and that made the motor stick like hell so anyway i managed it to make it turn but of course with a broken winding and uh, that much of dirt inside uh, that wouldn't last very long buying a new motor is not an option and anyway i don't need that drill for anything so yeah that's it that's how this uh, how this ironless motor works so again that's the axle here in the center here is the holding piece that is screwed in with the magnet i think this this part here is glued on so the magnet doesn't turn what turns is this copper tube here together with the axle ball bearing ball bearing and output gear yeah pretty amazing thanks for watching